Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. Last year, Toys R Us got this Forza set. 2016. I should say 2016. I don't know when you're watching this. Toys R Us got this Forza box set. Five car premium set. Well, 2017, they got another Forza, Forza set now. Not only do they have that, they got the Beatles and they got Justice League. Except Justice League is character cars. Let's take a look at this one in case you didn't see it last year. You have the 73 Ford Falcon XB, the 17 Ford GT, which is the car on the front of the box. You also have the Alpha, Alpha Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA and the 12 Camaro ZL1 Concept. And finally, Lamborghini Gallardo LP570-4 Super Leggera. Nice box set. Of course, I like it very much because of that. And because of the Ford GT, that's going to make a great display. With my four GTs. I'm going to keep that one boxed. This one this year. Oh, in the weekend show, I've already showed the Beatles five car pop culture set. I got it set. Real quick, these are kind of in the retro packages. If you're familiar with the retro entertainment packages, that's what these are. These here, this, this set here, pop culture. So you have five pop culture models. Now you might have had a hard time finding that one. That one was the hardest one to find. As you look at all the models, I'm just going to scan it because uh, these were kind of released earlier in 2017. It's a nice box set. I'm going to keep that one in the box as well. Here's the new Forza. These are the cars that are in the set. Porsche 356 Speedster, 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. You have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, 16 Ford GT race. There you go. And that one's even better for me. Pagani Waira. Why is it better? Ford GT plus it's, plus it's red, white, and blue. I'm going to open up that one. Well, not really. I'm going to open up this one. I got two. This way I can keep one in the box sealed and then I can open up that one. And for the Justice League, ta da! These are character cars. Here's a look on the side of the box. These three cars, well, these two cars have already been released. I don't think I've got that one yet. Here's a look at the sides. Superman, the new Batman, that's the new uh, Batman. I forgot the actual name of the character car. Wonder Woman. What do we have here? Here's a look. Batman and armor suit or something. I forget what it's called. Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, and the Flash. Uh, this Flash is the one that I don't... If there was a Flash before, I, it didn't look like that. I'm going to go ahead and open up this one too. As far as pricing, these things are about $5 a car. So if there's five cars in the set... And it's $25. It's about the same price as if you were to get all the single cars. So that's a pretty good, that's, that's a fair price. Plus you get a nice box, fantastic artwork. This one though, this one was $25. But character cars are like $4 each. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, four times six, 24. This one winds up being a dollar more. Well, maybe those are a dollar more too. Maybe those aren't $5 cars. So maybe, anyways. Let's go ahead and open them up. Well, I shouldn't say open them up. I'm only going to open two boxes, actually. Here's the tape. We'll do this one faster. I think more people are here to see the uh, Forza Motorsports. Here's how they are packed. Nice. Got tissue. Here's the Batman. I don't know if you've seen this version of the newest Batman character car. Looks like it'll be pretty good on the track. Here's a look at the back of the package. And you can pause that if you want to read that right there. Up next, who do we have? Superman. This one's already been out. This one's been hanging around. Wonder Woman's been out for a while, so it's not like it's uh, anything special. Uh, this car has been released in different colors because there's Wonder Woman Justice League. There's Wonder Woman, her movie. Uh, or maybe that was it. Uh, there might be a third Wonder Woman. Toys R Us has two packs. 
So some of those have different decorations as well. Unique to the two packs, at least for now. Aquaman, I didn't recognize him. Not from uh, the Aquaman I know. I guess this is the new Aquaman. And this one can also be found in stores. The Flash. This one, it, I would definitely remember this if I seen this before. Justice League The Flash. I have not seen this car before. First time. Pretty cool. They made the windshield look like uh, like his mask, right? So he has his openings for his eyes. Looks pretty good. So yeah, okay. I spent twenty five bucks just to get this car. Actually, I didn't because they had a spa they had a sale. Hey, look, check it out. There's something in the in the package. Uh, they had a sale. Uh, this is not. This doesn't say nowhere here. Does it say it's exclusive to this box set? I just want to be clear. Um, they had a sale, so I didn't even have to pay twenty five dollars. There's a look at that. What's that piece of paper? Is anybody left? Oh, one more. One more. You have uh, Justice League Cyborg. Mm, looks the same to me. I don't notice anything in particularly different. And there's the back. He has it too. But since this car, I haven't seen this car. Let's open this real quick. Let's take a look at the insert. For those of you who want to know. Flash DC comments, comics, K25 base code. So it was made the 25th week of this year, 2017. Same on both sides? Yeah, it looks the same. Now, what's the insert? And then after this, we're going to gonna open up the Forza Motorsports. Oh, it's the uh, checklist for the various character cars. I haven't seen Green Arrow yet. I picked up Doomsday. I picked up, uh, sorry. Yeah, Doomsday, Swamp Thing. I picked them up. I did an Off the Pegs video. I'll give you a link at the end. Deadshot's cool. Katana, those are older. What's on the back? Those are the ones that are in this box set. And Oh, that one, see, it's a two-pack. Uh, at Toys R Us to get those two models. I do believe that's the decorations for that two pack. Now, how do we open this? Carefully, of course. Now see, these are different. These are the uh, retro or entertainment uh, style packaging. The way the blister is, and it's, it's nice, it stands just like that. So now I can have that box right there on display. You know which one. And then I can have a couple of these on the outside. There's a look at the card art on the back. Pretty cool. Porsche uh, 356 Speedster. Um, I, this might be the first time this car has been released. I'm not sure. It's pretty cool how one car has an open hub and the other one is tucked under. And if you do downhill racing, uh, when you have skinny axles or narrow axles, no good because that means your car is going to be... <laughs> Your car's not going to be going down straight down the track. It's going to be wobbling. Let's see what else do we have here? Oh, pretty interesting decorations on the uh, Bugatti Wire. There's your Ford, Forza Motorsports logo, Xbox, nice tires. Wow, this color is fantastic. Orange color. I don't know if I showed you all the uh, details for this one. There's the uh, Forza Motorsports logo, and it does have decorations in the back. Here is the BMW 3.0, blah, blah, blah. And this one's okay. There's your logo. Tail light decorations. Hood decorations. Uh, tires are right. I don't know about the hub, the color of the hub, but uh, it's all right. Hey, this one's Zamac. The Porsche is Zamac. It's a bare metal with clear coat to protect it. Forza Motorsports up on the uh, spoiler. Red on the top. Oh, nice uh, Ghost Forza Motorsports logo on the side. Headlights. Tail lights. It might have a license plate. No, no license plate. I can see. I might not see it on the camera, but I can see. I like the uh, I like the wheels. Black uh, black hubs, black wheels. 
And here's the beauty. Well, for me. It's all right. I prefer the older Ford GT. Here's a 16 Ford GT race. I was going to buy a larger scale uh, version of the one that was at the race that did the speed uh, challenge because uh, the 24 hours of Le Mans, right? Uh, it was red, white, and blue, so I want it for my collection. But, you know, maybe uh, this one's cheaper. I'll just be happy with this one here. Ford logo on the top. It's kind of hard to see, but in the red stripe, it says Xbox One. No taillight decorations. Uh, the spoiler, I'm not sure if the spoiler is a separate piece. A uh, separate plastic piece? Probably. Mm, that's about it. Anyways, you know, I, these box sets, I like the box sets. I think they're pretty cool. You know me, I'm a loose car collector. But it is nice to have certain things on display. And what could be better than a, uh, a Ford GT? Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye. Dude, you missed it. He's up there. It's supposed to be, what are you doing? It's supposed to be up there.